Hey guys, this is the beginning of the installation of the DC Digital for the Naomi 2. So I recently purchased the DC Digital kit for the Naomi 2 and uh, it has arrived today and I briefly started it by, you can see, I cut a small hole here for the digital for the HDMI out and also for the, I guess the housing, the 3D printed plastic mold to hold it in place. Now the rest of the mod is gonna be a little tougher as we'll need to solder the ribbon cables onto the process of the, of the Naomi itself and then connect it into this so we can get the signals and convert it into HDMI signals. Um, the soldering is a little bit advanced. You're gonna have to solder it onto some of these, one of the chips here. I um, think I'm gonna get it, somebody else professional to do it I'm gonna go back to Ken Westerfield. Again, the guy who helped me fix the Iron Me 2 when it was broken, just to see if he can help me do the soldering. And he can do it much better than I can. And if I mess it up, I have to go back to him anyway. So I figured I'll try to get him to do it. And hopefully I can do that this weekend. And then we can see if we can get the HDMI signal out of the Iron Me directly. So we don't have to tap the VGA signals anymore from it to get the streams. And we'll see what happens. All right, I just want to go over a little gotcha. This just happened to me right now. So as I was trying to close the top of the lid, this portion, see this portion of the seat actually has a piece of plastic here that was hitting this. So I installed it in the location according to the picture. That's like what they showed in the instructions and they didn't mention anything about this thing being stuck. I don't know if different cases have different seating arrangements with the top of the lid. So my thing was actually stuck and there was this piece of plastic here. So unfortunately I had to open it and cut parts of the plastic on top of the lid in order to get it fit. So just to be aware of that guys. I didn't want to have to cut it but I didn't see any other way I could do this. Alright, we're back with the Naomi 2 fully modded out. The inside of the HDMI DC digital is now soldered onto the processors and where they're supposed to go. So we're ready to plug this in now and try it out. And we'll have to start configuring the HDMI out for the best signal possible. Let's try it out. Now previously, you see how I had this VGA splitter, power VGA splitter actually coming one going from the Naomi and then one going back into the IO and the other one going into my OSSC to capture the signal from the Naomi. So now we won't need any of this equipment anymore. There won't be so many cables, so it should be much cleaner and we won't need to split the VGA signal out anymore. Okay, so now the DC digital is installed. You can access this OSD menu via your Wi-Fi. You need to connect to your home web network first. You'll see when you first turn it on, it'll have a QR code which you can scan with your phone. It's pretty easy to set up and just hook it up into your net home network on your Wi-Fi. And once inside, you can operate the menus via the OS, OSD remote that's in the dcdigital.local path. So you go there, you can, it's just up, down, okay, and back. And I had to mess around with it quite a bit. And the first thing you want to do is actually you want to update your firmware, which I uh, didn't do at first, but I just did it now. And also, you do want to go to your system, I think. And yes, go to your system and go to your DC digital setting. And you want to change your console to your Naomi. That's what I did. Uh, I was messing around with there's some resolutions so apparently uh, I had to use a PC monitor and a TV and plus my capture card to see what the best settings were. Some settings weren't getting recognized by the TV or by my monitor or the capture card so I had to play around with that quite a bit. I finally got it to work on uh, 1080p so it wasn't working before and I was worried that it wasn't going to work but I go to the video settings and go to output resolution you can play around with that to see which one you can get to work for you. So 1080p is what I have it set to right now. There's also advanced video settings as well as other uh, scalers that you can use. 
so this is on 4.3 and, can, and you can also zoom it in and zoom it out. So I was playing around with that, but it seems to look good right now. I'm going to keep it like this. So this is the final product with the game running and I'm pretty happy with the results. As you can see the image is quite clear and even though we did have the VGA to OSSC capture before that would still look pretty good. I'm glad we have it now directly through HDMI. As you can see through my setup that now that there's much less cables than there was before and it's much more cleaner setup and so I'm pretty happy with this. And it's much less stuff to move around from when we actually do our tournaments. So yeah. I'm really happy with this uh, HDMI TC Digital version 2 mod that we have here and uh, thanks a lot to shoutouts to Ken Westerfield again who I had taken my Naomi 2 to get it modded to have him do the soldering because it was a little advanced for me I was afraid to mess it up so I took it to him and he did it pretty quickly for me it turned out pretty good so if you have a uh, DC Digital version 2 that you want to also mod your Naomi 2 you can send it to him he is out here in Sunnyvale, California and he's pretty much the most knowledgeable guy on Naomi to get. So thanks for watching this video guys and I uh, hope you enjoyed this content. Give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.